Hi everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Torge Petersen and in this video I will show you an overview of the new changed and fixed functions and improvements as well of the guide and service tool version in 2023. Since there was no updated video about the previous version 2023.1, I will show shortly the improvements of that version as well. In Service Tool version 2023.1 and uh, .2, only little features extension has been added, like the extension of the script functions with additional set and get function for color, data type, and lock data signals. In both Service Tool version, the time to load advanced page and design window has been improved between 20 and 50%. So complex pages will take half the time to show the design compared to older version. Through the next releases, we will continue to improve these times even more. From the service tool, move to the guide features. In guide 2023.1, the vector base screen editor allows project images. This means project image added as boot logo can be easily dropped into the screen editor. A new folder inside the project library called boot logo is uh, added and includes the image which can be dragged and dropped into the screen. Also in guide 23.1, additional static analyzer settings has been added like the merge warnings from different modules. So warnings of the same type found in different modules will be collected and presented together. And new setting related to the naming conventional matrix. If enabled, the static analyzer takes the namespace of these components into uh, considerations and checks if the naming groups are followed. And some for layout and coding as well. The PLC to C compiler upgrades took place in guide 23.1 as well. Like the possibility to add comments and data types and choose via settings if the text will be added automatically in line or if it should not. And also new hint or warning in strict mode when you use a global variable without specifying that you are using global via var external variable section. This is needed to partially follow the standard and prepared supporting um, parallel task in the future. After 23.1, we take a look to the guide version 23.2, where the biggest change in this guide release is the possibility to define diagnostic data inside a PRU and CCP. In previous guide version, it was only possible to define diagnostic data in the drawing area of guide. Related to PRU, the user had to transfer the signals via the output bus interface of the component called PRU and create checkpoints inside the guide drawing area manually. Same for CCP, where the signals from the call method function needed to be connected to a checkpoint. Now, or since this version, diagnostic and non-volatile parameters defined in a PRU or in a CCP will be included in the diagnostic data directly. There are different ways to define those parameters in PRU and CCP. First of all, for both PRU and CCP, a new call component is available, which is mandatory to use diagnostic data from a PRU or CCP. Call named PRU and create named externally defined class. These new call components should be used when you want to include diagnostic and non-volatile parameters in the diagnostic data. Inside CCP, it is now possible to uh, define checkpoint, set pulse and set value parameters via the new keywords CP, SP and SV. To define diagnostic data in a PU, there are multiple options available. First of all, the new component call named PRU provides diagnostic data in the PRU directly. In addition to the standard call PRU component, the user can define an instance name which is used in front of the diagnostic data. So similar way as adding namespace to a page and guide. It also provides an optional bool input named disable checkpoints on the inbus. If set to true, checkpoints of the PRU instance will not be added to the diagnostic data. All the different kinds to define diagnostic data in a PRU takes place in this new component. It will not have any effect inside the standard component called PRU. Inside PRU, it is now possible to define checkpoint, set pulse, set value, and retain parameters in PRUs of type function block via the new sections var checkpoint, var set pulse, var set value, and var retain. 
After this definition, the diagnostic data are available in the service tool listed with the instance name followed by the variable name. The global variables can also be defined as checkpoint set pulse or set value via the new sections var global checkpoint, var global set value, and var global set pulse. For each keyword, a separate global variable list needs to be created to declare the variables. After you have declared them under global variables, you also have to declare them as var external in a PU to make them available to a service tool. Another possibility to define diagnostic data in PU is called PU connection lock. If you open the project manager inspector, you will find the parameter PU connection lock. If this parameter is set to true, all parameters in PU interface sections var input and var output will be included as checkpoints in the diagnostic data. All the defined diagnostic and non-volatile parameters in CCPs and PUs will be present in parameter overview. Since PUU is used in screen definitions as well, a new component called show named screen is available, which create diagnostic data in PUU calls in screen definitions. Why are the component show named screen, a new property called include diagnostic data is available, which needs to be set to true to create diagnostic data for PUU calls in it. The instant name of the PUU call in the screen definition will be included in the full name and service tool. So in this example, call the screen with the name screens and the instance name backlight set, followed with the variables defined as diagnostic data in the PUU call. We hope that you found this video useful. Remember that Plus One community help is available on the Plus One user forum. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel or contact the Plus One help desk. Thank you for your attention.